Howdy 5000, it's the Foyo Games, right back at you with another unboxing. Right here, we have the infamous Ollie's Crazy Discounted Keyforge Age of Ascension Boxes. It says normally their price 20 bucks. Nobody would even sell these for 20 bucks, but I mean, you know. Getting these at a good price, maybe 50 bucks. But for some odd reason, Ollie's Discount Warehouse, they had them for 8 bucks. A booster box. A booster box contains 12 decks. A deck, you can get a deck for like maybe 10 bucks if you're lucky. This was a crazy deal. Okay. Shout out to my boy Steven Cortez. He got these for me. In the Midwest, in the cold, cold Midwest, when we didn't have them in the South. So, they had them like months before we got them. And then when they came out here, I actually told my boy, and then he scooped them all up. But he shared them with our whole Keyforge group, so it's all good. But, anyway, maybe you have some of these crazy $8 booster boxes at Ollie's. But I'm sure they're gone by now, but maybe. Check them out, Ollie's. Anyway, open up the deck. AOA. What am I looking for in AOA? Basically, just looking for anything with the good SAS. That is, SAS stands for Synergy and anti-synergy and then there's also this new thing that i'm kind of learning about is aerc which is like amber control expected amber control uh, a whole bunch of stuff recursion other kinds of control but yeah probably try to make a video about that later but anyway for today we got bjorn Viceroy Big Mouth Harris with the houses Logos, no, 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 Shadows, Brobnar, and Mars. Mm, people often hate on Mars saying Mars is the worst house, and then people often hate on Brobnar saying Brobnar is the second worst house, but it just all depends on your play style, I guess. Shadow's pretty cool because Scattle can uh, steal a lot of Ember, which is. How you win the game by forging three keys by getting six ember per key usually. Didn't even open this thing. All right. See what we got. Hopefully it's a high sass and a high arc. Okay, we got Heist Knight. It's an alpha card. You got to play that the first thing you do on your turn if you want to play it. So uh, it's got the play effect. Still one amber for each friendly thief creature. Okay, that can be nice. Just good shadows turn. And that's a rare. Star rare. Then we got Night Forge. It's got one amber pimp. Uh, play effect. If you have not forged a key this turn, you may forge a key at plus four times the current cost. Plus four the current cost. Uh, lights out. One pip, play effect, return two enemy creatures to their owner's hands. Yancey gang, action, steal one, five drop creature, two of them. Whistling darts, one amber, play effect, deal one to each enemy creature. Umbra, with skirmish, fight, steal one amber. Ronnie Wristlocks, play, steal one amber. If your opponent has seven or more amber, steal two instead. Knuckles Bolton. With elusive and skirmish, three drop, not three drop, but three attack, three health. All right, uh, uh, furtive investors, one pip. If your opponent has more amber than you, gain one amber for each key your opponent has forced. Three of those, and then into the Mars, we got a rare invasion portal, artifact, action, discard cards from the top of your deck until you discard a Mars creature card. Or run out of cards. If you discard a Mars creature this way, put it into your hand. 
yeah, this week, this uh, free creatures with this artifact. And, uh, and okay, double rare on the Mars house. Uh, incubation chamber, another artifact. Omni, which is you can use it when you call any house. Reveal a creature from your hand if you do archive it. Oh, yeah, that's great. That's great. This deck might be like an 80 sass. We'll see in a second because the power to reveal a Mars creature from your hand if you do archive it. It's like you're getting cheat in the Mars whenever you want to have a great Mars turn. Okay, then we got destroy them all action. Destroy an artifact, a creature, and an upgrade. Nice semi-board wipe. Uh, combat pheromones. Spot removal, not semi-board wipe. But uh, combat pheromones. Uh, artifact, one amber pip. Omni. Sacrifice combat pheromones. You may use up to two other Mars cards this turn. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. This is killing it with the artifacts in Mars. Because you can use this with any house you call. And then you get to cheat into Mars cards. That is superb. Uh, Amber Conduction Unit. Artifact. After an enemy creature reaps. If it's the first time a creature has reaped this turn, stun it. Okay. Vizima Think Drone. Uh, three power. Reap, you may archive a friendly creature or artifact from from play. A whole bunch of a whole bunch of, of archiving in this. Two of these, and then we got Mind Worm. One power it, with elusive, and before fight, the creature Mind Worm fights deals damage equal to its power to each of its neighbors. Mind Warper, two power. With elusive action, choose an enemy creature. It captures one amber from its own side. Mars needs amber. One pip. Each damaged enemy non-Mars creature captures one amber from their own side. Okay, so if they don't have uh, Mars, they'll all be capturing stuff from themselves. Uh, Mars first. One amber. Ready and use a friendly Mars creature. Galixel Proliferator. Three power, reap. If Galixel Proliferator is on a flank, archive a Mars card from your discard pile. Okay, cheating in and archiving Mars. Good. Okay, into the Brobnar, we got a rare. So, so far, that's uh, four rares. This is pretty good. Uh, War Grumpus, three power. Fight and reap effect. Ready and fight with the neighboring giant. Nice. So, reaping, still getting the fight. Extra fight, two of them. Oh, man, this is five rares. This is kind of unprecedented. This might be a good seven. Oh my gosh. That's another rare right there. Oh my freaking goodness. Can't wait to check out the sass on this bad boy. All right, War Grumpus, yeah. Two of them, two of them. And then we got Grumpus Tamer. Another Grumpus. Back, back during the Grumpuses. Okay, four power, creature giant. Reap, search your deck and discard pile for War Grumpus. Reveal it and add it to your hand. Then shuffle your deck. Oh my freaking goodness. This deck might be a freaking top notch 70 or an 80. Six rares. This is a fool. Okay. And the war test. Artifact. Action. Gain one amber for each enemy creature that was destroyed in a fight this turn. Bet. Okay. Free amber there. Kill some guys. Uh... Gargantus Scrapper with Alpha, three power, play, play effect. If you have three or more Amber, deal three to an enemy creature. Always good. Blood Money, play effect, place two Amber from the common supply on an enemy creature. Okay. Pound, one pip, play, deal two to an enemy creature with one splash. Splashes you hit its neighbors with one damage each. Two of those, two pips. I can't complain. Uh, Eleven power guy. Lala up the tight. Lala up the Titanic. Uh, giant in location. Lala up the Titanic deals no damage when attacked. But it's a giant though. And another giant, Groggins. Eight power, eight defense. When Groggins is used to fight, it can only attack flank creatures. That's all right. Another giant, Fuzzle. Five power. Reap effects if an enemy creature has been destroyed this turn, gain one amber. And it's two fuzzles. Man, this deck looks pretty darn good. Can't wait to check the sass. I will hit y'all off with what that is. And 
I will see y'all later. Have a great one. Deuces.